Hey guys, what's going on? It's Broken Nose Gaming here. As you can tell from the background, I'm not using my camcorder right now. I actually plugged in my Logitech webcam, hooked up my HyperX quadcast mic, and I even managed to score a key light off of Amazon Prime Day uh, for recording. And this is kind of touching on that last video where I talked about how I had gotten an ultra wide monitor and how it works. So from what I can see, I like the ultra wide personally. Um, I do like having that extra real estate on the left and right, especially when I play some games where you can kind of see more around the corner or something like that, uh, depending on your camera angle. But when it comes to recording, um, ultra wide isn't the greatest. Uh, I've found out there's a few issues that I've run into. Uh, I can record in ultra wide fine, um, but it's broadcasting to YouTube or anything like that. Um, I don't think YouTube handles ultra wide all that well, um, unless I'm doing something wrong. So what I have to do, at least for when I make recordings, is I have to change, I can record in the ultra wide, but then when I put it into my video editor, I have to change the resolution down to just regular 1080p. And what that does is it gives me black bars on the top and the bottom of the screen. Um, and I mean, there are a couple examples. Um, most notably, I'll just throw up an example of World of Tanks here. As you can see, there's black bars on the top and the bottom. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know if this is okay. I don't know if I should look at another option or get a, another. I guess I could get another monitor if I really wanted to, but um, it, it's kind of weird. Um, it's kind of like a teething problem for me because I've never worked with ultra wide before. So I don't know how I'm gonna handle this. Um, other games like Star Wars The Old Republic would let me window down to something close to 1080p. It wasn't quite 1080p as you can see in the footage here. Um, there's some black bars on the bottom I think. Um, and that's just because the window isn't big enough and I couldn't really stretch it all that much, so I just left it alone. But some games are letting me play at least something similar or close to 1080p, but I don't know what's better. I don't know if I should just be recording in ultra wide and then letting my video editing software change the resolution to fit the ultra wide into a 1080p format, um, or if I should go with trying to reduce the game to 1080p if possible and then end up having some weird size issues when it comes to the game itself and so I'm gonna kind of play around with this some more there are some games that I recently got uh, picked up they're uh, rather old games and I'll do some backstory on this when I first got my first Xbox I was buying it mainly for Red Dead Redemption until I found out how Red Dead Redemption was brand new and how much brand new games cost I ended up buying these two games called Call of Juarez and the prequel which was Bound in Blood. I managed to find those games, I didn't even know they made them for PC. I might try playing those and um, I'll use those to see how well handling uh, ultra wide does and if I need to condense it down or what I need to do in order to make it work. But um, the, other, the other games, there are some other games I should say that I'm actually kind of excited about. Um, most notably is Planet Coaster 2. Uh, I do play Planet Coaster in No Limits quite a bit. I spend way more time on Planet Coaster. Um, I did, as you know, <laughs> work as a ride operator, so it is kind of fun to have like control of a little virtual theme park. Uh, Planet Coaster 2 supposedly is going to be with uh, upgrades to the game and will include controlling and managing water parks, so that might be interesting. Um, I also have been, I kind of got into uh, the Terminator again. I was a big fan of the Terminator movie franchise even since I was a little kid. I uh, found out that there's a pretty neat game called Terminator Resistance. I might look into getting that game as well and playing that game. Um, but I do want to try to vary some of the games that I play. And uh, of course, when October comes around, I will try to play some scary games again. Um, but I do need to figure out, and I might do some tests uh, on YouTube. Uh, you guys won't see them, but I will try broadcasting 
or uploading a video in ultra wide seeing what it does and if it works cool if it ends up condensing it down to 1080p then i know on my end i should be trying to reduce the size down to 1080p before i upload a video and i'm not even sure i do have some live streaming um like templates set up just in case i do start live streaming again um i'm not sure how well live streaming will work on my internet connection here because i think i've said this in a previous video I have T-Mobile Home Internet, which is just basically glorified uh, cellular 5G service turned into Wi-Fi. So I don't know how well that's going to work. Um, I might test it as well, but I need to figure out, I need to get more into uh, how I'm going to translate using an ultra wide monitor in um, playing games and just what will work. I have actually had a lot of problems uh, even adapting some games. I would load, say, Planet Coaster or Star Wars The Old Republic. It would automatically minimize and it didn't want to actually pull up full screen. And I had to use uh, GeForce Experience to manually change the screen option to windowed or borderless window before the game would actually open and I could start adjusting settings. So there are some things that I need to look at when it comes to uh, broadcasting and recording in ultra wide versus 1080p or what I need to do to make sure it looks good for everyone. But uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to update everyone and uh, sort of see how my video system, my webcam and everything works with this key light. And, uh, this is the first time I've used the 5700X uh, for uh, content creation, making videos, um, broadcasting, or recording right onto my computer. Most of my videos have been using my camcorder. So I just wanted to kind of see how this works and see how well it looks. But yeah, um, give me a little bit more time. Um, I will do some tests when it comes to uh, how everything looks um, and then hopefully I can come up with something that will look good enough and play nice enough with YouTube where I don't have to worry about anything. Anyways, yeah, just a little update. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope everyone is enjoying semi-regular content updates and until I see you guys in the next video, take it easy. Bye-bye.